everyone, welcome back to my next video. Uh, one of the questions I get all the time is people who have a car, uh, a good reliable car or SUV, maybe a pickup, but they can't, they want to go mobile and live uh, full time or part time on the road, but they can't afford to move up to something better. Uh, and they can't really tow much. That's a big problem for a lot of people. Steven, say hi, hi everyone, there. has come up with a perfect solution for that problem. A, an inexpensive vehicle that is so light that nearly everyone out there can tow one and afford one. So, Stephen, thanks for uh, talking to us today. Sure. Thank you. Uh, before we go any further, tell people what uh, the name of your company and where you're at. Well, um, Stephen Shives, uh, we uh, own and operate runaway campers in Ocala, Florida. Um, just a, a business that started a few years back in my backyard and uh, has just blossomed and, and grown and turned into more than just a business but a community of people. Uh, and that's what I found that among uh, nomadic people who travel, uh, RVers and so on, they become a real tribe. They become, there's a real connection. So tell us a little about, about your product, uh, the market you're after. Um, our, our two basic um, trailers that we manufacture and sell are the 4x8s and 6x8s. Uh, the the 4x8 obviously being the lightest as well as the most inexpensive. Uh, most people just they want something if, if they're traditionally tent campers but they've kind of you know gotten tired of the tent camping routine laying on the ground having to set up the gear and uh, not having air conditioning and uh, as, as years go on you appreciate those things a little more uh, but they still want to keep things simple then you know our, our cool camp is the is the basic as you can get um, it starts at $29.95 and you know you can add a few basic features here and there to to upgrade it but um, you, you know get some started really inexpensive so and and they're light enough that most people can tow one right the four by eights um, are, are right about 700 pounds uh, we've got customers that tow these with smart cars uh, so yeah you can tow them with just about anything uh, you can imagine so that's really there are a lot of people out there and on my my youtube channel a lot of people who are pretty low income they can't afford an rv they right. can't even consider that they can't they can't even afford to buy a van to, to live in this and they got a good reliable car but, so this really fits them perfect right whether they want to go full-time or just take a couple trips a year it really fits them well now it's small for its how tall are they uh, over outside dimensions are about 65 to 68 inches in height inside you got 42 to 46 inches of, uh, of headroom there and do you sell a taller model um, yes and no uh, we we do try to build a we have a stand-up version that's actually a 6 by 12 that um, that we do sell occasionally in the winter time when things are a little bit slower uh, or we have in the past uh, few years. Um, now we're, we're kind of on the fence because uh, we've gotten so busy with all of our smaller models that we're not sure that we'll even have time to do those this year. So uh, right now these are our two basic sizes and, and models. Okay, so the this is the uh, four by four by eight, roughly, basically. Right. And this is, and what's, what's the base model called? Uh, the, the cool camp with air conditioning, of course the base is the base camp but doesn't include air, uh, which is mostly a blank canvas. A lot of people, if they, either they live in the northern states where they, they'll never use air conditioning or they just want a blank canvas that they can modify themselves and add their own type of unit and, and do some different things to it. That unit starts at twenty four ninety five. so wow, you know, really getting down there. Yeah, That's 2500 is really a good price. Right. And, the, and at $29.99, you've got the AC. Includes the air conditioning, a cargo box on the front, striping, um, you know, 13-inch tires and wheels. Those things are all standard. And over here, we have the, uh, the wider model. Which right. one is this? This is the Range Runner. It's, uh, it's a 6x8. It's actually almost a full 6 feet wide inside. So it gives enough room. The concept, when we first started building this, is we had a lot of uh, families that you know, mom, dad, a couple of small kids, they wanted to go camping and, and needed something a little bit larger. Prior to that, we had a lot of requests for five by eights because it seems to be kind of a standard size in, in teardrops. But still with a five by eight, it doesn't give you the, right. the room you need. So with the mom, six dad by eight. Mom, dad, and kids don't really fit Yeah, it's, it's a little eight. tight. Yeah. Um, so with this, you can actually sleep um, crossways in the six by eight. It gives you enough, even for myself, I'm six foot tall and 
Uh, it gives you enough length there where you can sleep crossways and, and have enough floor space for for small family. And what are the prices on it? This starts at forty nine ninety five. It, it includes a lot of extras that you know people would normally get if they're going to upgrade to something a little larger. Um, comes with a double door, so you have a uh, entrance and exit on both sides, making it easy to get in and out. No, no crawling um, over each right other. No crawling that night. over. Um, <laughs> it, it sits on 15-inch wheels uh, and tires. It has a, a beefier axle, which is a 3,500-pound axle. Um, it's not that much heavier. Uh, it's still just over 900 pounds. So most cars, most can cars can tow that. We have a, we have customers even with Volkswagen, you know, Passats and things like that 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 tow these with these. So the, the key thing is you don't compare this to living in an RV because right. it really doesn't compare. But if you compare it to living in a tent, then it's the right. lap of luxury. Right. Right. Yeah. And really, you know, of course it's more than a It's, it's not a RVing. Tent. Right. You know, it's camping. It's you camping. Know, and people, you know, when you understand the difference between the two, they're not looking for the luxuries, they're looking for, you know, the basics. Right. And uh, I know I have a lot of my audience members who are, are very low income and uh, Social Security at eight, five hundred to a thousand a month, right. and for them, there really is no option. Uh, some of them, the quality of their life in something in either one of these is going to be so much higher than it would be if they were in an apartment, because right. most of their take-home pay goes to an apartment. Here, they get to keep it right. and live a much higher quality of life. And no, they can't stand up, mm -hmm. but that's not the end of the world. Right. It's certainly better than a tent yeah, <laughs> on the ground. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you run us through some of the, what's standard on one of these? This is the Cool Camp. Uh, the standard features on this, um, you know, both windows are, are tempered, tinted glass, sliding with screens. Um, you know, it's got a locking uh, RV type door that has a deadbolt lock where you can lock it from inside and out. Um, air conditioning is standard. It's a 5,000 BTU unit. It's a, we, we try to keep things simple. A lot of times people call, they want a special order something and make it more complicated. Um, but the whole concept of this is to keep it as simple as possible. Um, you know, so later on down the road, you're going to put miles and usage and wear and tear on these things. Uh, you know, you want it to be easy to maintain. You don't want it something that you're going to have to dump money into. Um, and so right. we keep, you know, for that reason, we keep a lot of things very simple. Do they come with a vent? They do not come with a roof vent. Uh, it, it's just we chose early on not to install them. Um, probably within the first six months, we did that as a standard, thinking that it just had to be. But um, it turned into a nightmare because look, being such a low-profile camper, uh, we found people were banging them with car wash brushes. They were breaking them. They're you know, they were twisting the knobs and stripping out the gears in the in the vents, and then they start leaking. And you know, and so you want to try to avoid leaks anytime you can. But your wind, both you have windows on both sides. Right, you have windows with screens, and with the low profile roof, ninety percent of the heat is going to come out right here. It's not like you have a, a taller, you know, RV or travel trailer roof where it gets captured, you know, about five feet up. And if there's any breeze at all. You're going to have a cross breeze, the doors open, you're getting a, a right. pretty good airflow through. You that. are, and one of the options that we do have is a rear window that a lot of people opt for instead of a roof vent. And, and basically for the same price of a roof vent, for $150, we put an identical window like this on the rear wall. And it, so it gives you more cross ventilation, it also gives you more visibility. So even in the 4x8s, you know, if you're one that feels kind of, you know, closed in and confined, it opens it up and gives it a little more airy feeling um, without penetrating the roof itself. So one of the things that a lot of my, I encourage everyone to do who travels much is to get solar. Is it possible to put solar on one of these? Okay. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of customers that after, you know, aftermarket they've added their own solar panels. Um, usually when they do, they want to add a roof rack. Right. Um, we offer a roof rack option, either you know for you know those kind of modifications. Some people just want to use it to haul a kayak, and and we have customers that use it for a rooftop tent. So yeah, the roof rack's an option. Um, solar panels, we don't offer it um, no. as an option, but a lot of customers add it after the fact. Either a small system where where they just have a simple battery, um, 12 volt system that that's connected to some solar panels for for 12 volt power. Or a lot of people get the small um, self-contained inverter package, which has a built-in battery, you know, 110 volt inverter, the whole, you know, 
USB ports and everything built in one package, mm -hmm. and then they just wire it out to a solar panel to keep it charged up. So they just the roof rack would just bolt in through here. Right. Yeah, it's actually bolted through the side walls and right. through the support ribs on the inside. So it's not just screwed, and it's also not screwed directly down to to the roof itself. So right. there again, we're not penetrating it with with fasteners. Uh, so it's it, it's attached to the side walls, gives it that extra strength. Give or take 300 pounds is a safe number to say it'll it'll easily carry that weight. We normally set them as a standard about 32 inches apart, which mm -hmm. is kind of standard for some you know roof mount baskets and other accessories. Well, I'm pretty familiar with solar, and you could easily uh, mount a like a 250 watt panel on that, and a right. two, that would be plenty of power. Right. For you couldn't run air conditioning off it, but for everything else, it right. would be plenty. So yeah, solar would work extremely well uh, on this. And so if someone wants a battery, they, you could put a battery up on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the range runner and the navigator as well, which is, the navigator is a step up from the cool camp. It basically, it, the construction's identical. Um, you're getting the same shell, the same, you know, the same frame, everything under carriage. Um, but it has a few options that the cool camp doesn't come with standard. Um, it comes with a rear hitch. Um, so people that want to put a bike accessory rack or, or just an extra cargo carrier on the back, mm -hmm. they have that option. Um, it comes with diamond plate on the front and, is, and a cargo rack instead of the small poly box that comes on the cool camp. And so that acts as a good place for people to put a, a marine battery box or something like that as a carrier. Or your it, generator. Or a small generator. Right. And so at the 2999 model comes with the air conditioner. Right. And uh, how and you were talking? What were you just talking about? The one of navigator. The navigator. Um, it's thirty four ninety five. Thirty four ninety five. So, so for another five hundred dollars, um, you're getting the front cargo rack, the diamond plate package, as well as the diamond plate fenders, um, LED tail lights, um, a spare tire that's mounted up underneath the, the rear of the trailer, um, and the rear hitch. So it, it's about six hundred and fifty dollars. A lot of people were ordering all these things separately, right. and it come to about six hundred and fifty dollars. So we just made it a package. It, it saves you a little money, but it helps us in production, so we can kind of streamline things. We generally give people a hundred dollar discount when they pay cash for their unit. Um, if you're traveling in from out of town, or if you're ordering it online and you want to pay cash and get that discount, then a check counts for that as well. You know, on the Range Runner, it's a, it's a hundred fifty dollar discount. Um, that discount basically applies because we don't have to pay a processing fee for credit card companies. So um, we pass that savings on to you and, and you know, it helps everybody out. Uh, if, if you're a repeat customer, we consider you our, you know, um, your own referral. So you get an additional $100 discount on top of that. Come across it here on Bob's Cheap Living RV. Um, let us know about it. Uh, we'll give you another $50 discount in addition to that. And, um, it, you know, Give, God, give Bob a good word here on the uh, internet so um, you can share that good news with other people. And I'm not going to get anything on that, folks. <laughs> so some of you are out there thinking, oh, Bob, you're just in this for the money. I'm not going to make a penny on this. Uh, you will get the $50 discount, and I won't get any of that. So these are really super lightweight. Most, Nearly everyone can tow one with their vehicle. Right. And uh, as inexpensive as a car, as a any type of cargo trailer can be. Uh, we, we found now we're, we're going into our fifth year of business. We've completed four full years. We've got uh, well over a thousand units out now on the road and, and we're finding more and more people are, are coming on. We're getting busier every year. Um, but on, on top of that, you, they've shown to have great resale value. Um, some of our customers that have started out with the cool camp, the four by eights, um, they've decided to move up to a six by eight and they've had no problem. Um, reselling their their former unit, so right. uh, you know they've held their resale value as well. So we're proud of that, and and we've got a great customer service team. And you know if you got anything going on, questions, issues, or, or warranty things, everything comes with a one year warranty. You know, we really want our customers to be pleased with with what they get. And you're building them yourself right here in near old Cal, Florida. We are, we are. Um, our factory's kind of split up in two locations. We have a, a manufacturing plant. Um, where 80 percent of the unit gets completed and then it comes into this facility um, where it gets fenders and, and lights and decals and everything's kind of completed out. And for people who aren't in Florida, uh, do you do shipping? We do. Uh, we offer shipping nationwide. Um, it varies. We get um, from Florida to Southern California typically runs about $850 to get a unit there. 
Uh, the farthest point uh, runs about $1,000 to you, up as far as Seattle and Oregon area. In the southeast, up the east coast, anywhere from $350 to $650. So a lot of people find out is it, it's more cost effective for them to have us ship it than, uh, than for them to take off work and you know make the expenses to come down and get it. Other people prefer, and, and we really enjoy it when they do, to just make a trip out of it. Just, just come on down and um, get your get your runaway and take your time going home and and just make a an enjoyable trip out of it on the way back and you're putting together uh gatherings we uh, are yearly gatherings for yep. uh, owners we do um we have a lot of our our owners that they create events of their own you know around the country and, and they'll just put together a rally and uh, you know and they've developed friendships relationships with people in other parts of the country by doing that um here locally we're we're getting ready to jump start our annual rally um, it, we'll, we've got a facility now that we're in the process of completing so that we'll have a camping area that's designated uh, specifically for our runaway owners that they can come and enjoy if they're coming in and out of town and and when we have annual rallies we can gather there as well so you're building something of a community we are as much as you can right right and that's important i think that's really important yeah so folks, there you have it. I just, I'm a big fan of the Runaway Campers. I think it fills a need, a very serious need that's out there for people who want to travel full-time or part-time on a, on a pretty small budget. Uh, it's something for you to consider very strongly looking into getting one. And I hope this helps you and uh, you've learned something from it. Thanks, Steve, so yep. much for joining us. Thank you. And uh, so uh, until next time, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later.